Kitty Crafts is a program for three-year-olds and up with their, with an older adult, can be a parent or grandparent or just an adult. They come in and we do crafts, we do stories, games. Um, it's really to teach the children the creative, to explore their creative side. For my son, it's been really important to learn how to use scissors and not to cut your mom's finger. <laughs> Through the programs I've done and been involved with, I know of people who have met at our programs and are now spending a lot of time together. They've developed friendships, they've developed relationships. We did a kitty crafts program and we're still doing that and that's just, you know, fun for the kids and for me because I know a lot, of the, a lot of the other mothers in the community that attend that kitty crafts also. We have some, some volunteers that have created programs that are award winning, our Halloween mini trail being one of those. That is a phenomenal program and the woman that does that is just, I can't say enough about her efforts with that. I put together a program for preschool age children, but it's always nature oriented. I get volunteers throughout the community, it's usually some comedy interspersed with it, a little bit of knowledge, uh, a lot of fantasy, so that the kids can use their imaginations and the parents go along with them. You go through a trail at uh, Grant Park and every so many feet there's a new character or you know, and, and an activity to do with that character and that was just phenomenal. I thought that was a well done program. Every year we keep getting rave reviews and I'm so proud of that show, but I'm especially proud of the fact that the Park District lets me do this. Recently we've gotten into the geocaching world and offered a lot of fun special events in that. There's handheld GPS units and people um, hide things out in the parks or they're everywhere. I mean it could be at a Tim Hortons, it could be it, um, at a rest area and people get these coordinates for these locations and they find these containers and you can leave trinkets behind and take a trinket with you. They're just hidden here and there and we have this whole community of cashers out there that like to find these things so we've kind of helped them add to their finds by hiding them in different parks and with our 50th anniversary we've done a 50th cache quest so we've been putting new caches in each park every month so four new parks each month and people go out and try to try to find them and they love it and they thank us for it and they seem to enjoy it a lot. And then we also offer special events for them to come out and socialize with other cashers and get to know, you know who these other people are that are finding them faster than they are and, and that sort of thing. So we get people that might not do our other programs out in our parks and doing something with us in some other capacity. So